The longer Andrew Tate stays in jail, the more he wins. Why do people care so much about Andrew Tate when it comes to YouTube? In space, we'll do it after we don't do it. That's a controversial reactions. statement to make right now, oh but gosh, let me explain dang, what I mean by it. Over the past year or so, it feels like everyone has had an opinion on Andrew Tate. Whether it's someone who looks up to him and follows his content religiously, or someone who criticizes him for his mis. Like, I don't even like watch his stuff religiously. Like, every now and then, like, one of his things will come on my TikTok. I barely be on TikTok. Here's the thing. And, bro, it's just mainly just like, it's mainly not even like nothing like negative. It's just like tips and stuff. And it's just like tips and stuff for like kids, but that's it. Like like people growing up, but they just be freaking milking this dude for drama. Like bro, move. Misogynistic remarks and celebrates him being held in jail. To some extent, everyone has at one point or another taken some sort of a stance. As a Romanian myself, I personally am inclined to have a negative bias against him. So I want to acknowledge that right off the bat. But my intention with this video is to approach the subject from a neutral perspective and simply observe what I find to be a fascinating case study of a socio-psychological phenomenon called the Streisand effect. I'll explain what it is and how it generally works and how, ironically, being arrested and put in in jail may have actually been the best thing that could have ever happened for Andrew Tate's brand. Before we get into it though, I want to briefly thank our sponsor for today, Dragon City. Collect over a thousand different dra dragon. Tate, we have to first look at Barbara Streisand's home, literally. In 2003, photographer Kenneth Edelman <laughs> was documenting how the coastline of neutral. California was changing like, over I'm neutral time, when and it as part because of his baby, project, he but took the thing that I realize is... Because I don't like know if he actually live streams or anything before he was arrested. Because most of the stuff I just saw was just like him. It was just from TikTok's perspectives. But most of the negative stuff that I heard was just about the old old stuff that he was hearing. I'm the, I was lucky. Sure. Underscore Dreamer says I want to hear about the, the sponsor. Well, tell the sponsor to sponsor me, and you'll hear about that sponsor. But the thing is, when it comes to Andrew Tate, is that most of the stuff that I've been seeing is just when people talking about like his past stuff, and like I understand that completely. But that's just it. That's what they used to hate him. And I'm not sure how long ago that stuff happened. That's he wouldn't be saying, oh, that happened years ago and stuff. But whenever it's like just current stuff, I'm like, bro, most of the stuff is just him giving tips for young men. Like, I ain't even talking about like job wise. I'm talking about like mental wise and all that stuff. Folks just be hating just to hate photograph of Barbara Streisand's Malibu estate. In an attempt to keep it out of public view, the singer sued Edelman. But it was the lawsuit itself that drew a thousand times more attention to her home than the picture would have alone. Streisand's attempt to censor information backfired so badly, leading to the exact opposite result of what she had intended, thus establishing what has since been called the Streisand effect. And while the term may be relatively new, the phenomenon itself can be seen all across history. For example, in the year 1120, the Chinese Song Dynasty banned the printing of Buddhist texts due to concerns that they were spreading dangerous ideas. However, the ban only led to increased demand for the texts and Buddhist ideology continued to flourish. In the 13th century, the Persian poet Rumi, whose writings were critical of the Mongol rule, was threatened and suppressed by the Mongol Empire, but his censorship indirectly led to his teachings being <laughs> spread all throughout the Islamic world. Same thing happened with the Catholic Church versus Martin Luther, Voltaire and the French government, or in England with the Glorious Revolution of 1688. Oftentimes, history has a lot to teach us about how the world works. And although Andrew Tate is no Rumi or Martin Luther or Voltaire, the role he plays in the eyes of his hardcore fans is not so different. All they see is their idol being persecuted, which further fuels their pursuit for justice. <laughs> Andrew Tate has been a public figure for quite a while. Him and his brother Tristan Tate originally came up as kickboxers, each of them earning multiple world championship titles. But it wasn't until in previous years that they truly exploded in popularity. At one point, Andrew uh, Tate I don't got the one. most Googled name on the planet. The brothers were said to be so poor in the I don't early find days the of their anything, but I just that don't they would go one. to their like, local I, I KFC, collect remnants off the table, and someone. freeze them at home so they'd have a stash of food to eat while competing in what is 
obviously a very intense physical sport. I mention all of this to give the devil his due. It's obvious that the Tate brothers came from a very modest background, eventually building impressive wealth, which does explain the appeal from young men who look up to Andrew Tate as a role model. Where his message becomes contradictory is when he speaks about how I mean, he for what? Like, are y'all talking about overall or like, are y'all talking about like YouTube him, slash streaming? He has several concurrent girlfriends whom he may or may not be coercing into working as cam girls in a mansion that he built at the outskirts of Bucharest specifically for this purpose. In 2022, he was banned from multiple. Then I guess it would be like, mm, YouTube side of things. YouTube side of things. Well, it's basically both whenever it comes to basically content creation, H World Delirious, uh, Bruce Moth, uh, Azers, if y'all know who that is, it's a dude that does voices. He's actually a singer as well. He does music. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think. There's so many people. There's so many people social media platforms and was arrested in December along with his brother Tristan on charges of organized crime, human tra- Unlucky underscore dreamer says note, Bruce, however, that the investigation is still ongoing. Jax, I got, I got music to put you on. I got music to put you on with. Nothing has been actually proven in court, and by the looks of it, judges are sure taking their time with the case. Though his detainment was initially set at 30 days, they've kept extending the custody for 30 days at a time. As of now, the Tate brothers having been held for three months. For those who don't know, by the way, in Romania, the longest you can be held in preventive arrest is 180 days. And it looks like they're going to stretch this out to the full extent allowed by law. Their lawyer has also been denied direct access to speak yeah, to them face to face, which again is at the very least suspicious. Now, do I think Andrew Tate is I've been innocent. watching him since like I think Black Ops enough too. evidence to at least warrant a full when he was investigation, doing that Ted but voice the way things that. have been moving thus far has only strengthened his message about the mysterious matrix that has long been out to get him. <laughs> Andrew Tate's brand was built on offering young men motivational content and then selling them online courses on how to become successful like himself. It's always been about me. Watch Kitchen some licking. Yeah. Was, was that the dude that did the hacker stuff as well? More than They're trying to control what acting you like see. he was a, a hacker. There, there was somebody control. that was actually acting like a hacker. Every single thing that exists out there inside of the matrix is done so with a purpose. They don't tell oh, you that. Once yeah. you're rich, you're free. This is why they cannot have you earning money. And this is how I will teach you how to make money in ways you have never heard of before, never seen before, and will never find access to these tools and this information anywhere else on the planet. While he doesn't really say anything new, the way he packaged his message is, in my opinion, brilliant. He's built a narrative of the establishment versus the lone hero who goes against the powers that be. In everything he does, his sworn enemy is what he calls the Matrix. And while he's never actually what defined this vague, well, veiled institution that appears to have him in their crosshairs at all times, his fans have eagerly adopted the Matrix as their own enemy. And through this genius storytelling trick, he's probably sold more self-help courses than all other YouTube gurus combined. While most influencers sell generic advice on how to be more productive or start a business, Andrew Tate sells something that goes beyond the screen. He sells the dream of breaking free of the chains placed on you by the evil institutions that want to control you. I don't know about you, but the latter sounds a thousand times more intriguing. And when you've built this entire narrative and made it part of your core identity, being arrested and unfairly treated by authorities will make even the most skeptical of your haters go, huh, what if the Matrix is out to get him? So with all the concentrated effort that's been channeled towards canceling Andrew Tate, even if the entire shtick was nothing more than a tactic devised to make money off of gullible young men, the Matrix has been indirectly brought into reality, making this one of the most ironic instances of the Streisand effect Jax, in the I'm gonna history to, I'm gonna need of to start doing animations culture. like this. What are your thoughts on this? I'm gonna need to start doing the animations, Jax. Topic, but as always, with my I'm content, joking, I want stuff to welcome like any side of the argument in the comment section below. And if you don't know what to watch, next click up here to check out my previous video on the latest AI developments and how chat GPT will take all of our jobs a lot sooner than you would expect remember to download Dragon City using my custom link down yeah they, they thought we were downloading that. <laughs>